Today, we have round three of the Funko Pop Head to Head Challenge, the Mystery Box Challenge, the Grail Box versus Pop King Paul. The first two rounds, if you haven't watched them already, they'll be dropping down below. You can rewatch the first two rounds. Pop King Paul took the first two rounds by a pretty big margin in each round. So Pop King Paul, out of the next three rounds, this is gonna be a five round series. All Paul has to do is win one out of the next three rounds to be the first company to ever beat the Grail Box in the challenge. Over the past two years, Grail Box in the past has beat Pop King Paul, beat Toy USA tw twice, beat Smile World twice, beat Ralphie's Fun House, beat Toy USA twice. As of right now, they're undefeated. But they have never been down 0-2 before. They've never been this far in a hole to get out of. So is this is this the competition where the Grail Box finally gets dethroned by somebody else? This might be a five-round series. This is round three. Each box costs hundred dollars. That was my cost. Each one is guaranteed value hundred bucks. The Grail Box can be between one pop and six pops. Pop King Paul is four pops. I know in round number two, the Grail Box only had one pop in the box. And it was worth like, what, 145 bucks? It was a fantastic hit. But Pop King Paul box was still worth more. So this, and actually all five of the Grail Box boxes were all different sizes. Go back to my first video, round one, you'll see the screenshot of all five boxes being different sizes. This one is the oddest shape box. So I'm guessing this might be one or two oversized pops maybe, or one big oversized pop and a couple four inch pops. I don't know. Interesting size box, it's like, it's like a shoe box size box. So since the Grail Box is a challenger, again, in round three, they're going first. If Pop King Paul takes round three, today, right now, the series is over. But we will do a side competition where after all five rounds, I'll add up all the value of all the boxes to see who put in the better value in all five boxes. But in terms of round, head to head, who's gonna win that? So there's gonna be kind of two competitions. So even if Pop King Paul takes round three and wins the competition 3-0, there is still a side competition of better value overall. Here we go. This is the Grail box. They haven't re released any boxes in like two months now. So hopefully they drop boxes soon. They haven't dropped boxes since like November of last year. It's been a while. Been a, here we go. Grail box always packs fantastic. Oh, they always use a bunch of bubble wrap. They're not scared to use bubbles. I don't want to look. Feel around. Okay, there is one oversized pop. Feels like like a movie moment or something. Then there are four four inch pops. This pop, this box has five pops in it. Five pops in it. Let's do the oversized pop first. Let's just get that out of the way. Oversized first. The oversized is, the back says Yu-Gi-Oh. Tarkon exclusive 2022 lack or Black Luster Soldier. I have no idea what that is. Never watched or played Yu-Gi-Oh in my life. The box has a little bit of dust on it. Looks like from, from uh, storage before they shipped it. But condition wise, pretty mint. Looks to be pretty good. I have no idea if that's for 20 bucks or 30 bucks or five bucks, no clue. Now I've got four four inch pops. All four are in soft protectors. Next one, the back says Avatar Last Airbender and it is APA. 2019 pop of APA, no idea. I'm not good with anime or animation, I don't know. Pop number three, oh, Pokemon Caterpie. Never heard of them. I never watched Pokemon in my life. Never played the card game. Looks to be in fantastic shape. This one is a 2021, so not very old. Not very old. Can't be vaulted yet. Two more left. Back says Demon Slayer. We have AAA anime exclusive Demon Slayer Gayu Tomio Yokia. Looks to be pretty nice. It has that weird uh, factory line on the back of it, but that's that's pretty common with a lot of pops. Okay, not bad condition, not bad. So far, I'm guessing the big hit's gonna be the Dragon Ball Z pop. Last one. And it is, oh, it's it's the uh, Pig Face Boy. Had this one before a few times. Inosuke Hashibirara, the Pig Face. 
I think somebody said like the pig head comes off of this or something, I think, or I don't know. So either this is the best or Yu-Gi-Oh is the best. Let's see PPG value that see what Pop King Paul has to beat. Caterpie is worth 10 bucks. Inosuke Hashi B Re Re Raw nailed it is worth $29. Gayu Tomi T Tomioka is worth $25. Pop number four, Avatar Appa coming in at $17. Last pop, Black Luster Soldier Tarkon Exclusive 2022 is coming in at $31. Grand total for Grail Box is $112. So this might not be a hard box for Paul to beat. Let me write down 112 on this, just so I remember. 112. This might not be a hard box for Paul to beat. This this might be this might be the first defeat ever for the Grail box. I don't know. Looks like this uh, 100R box that they sold. I think the best box I got was like what 145, and the other two were like in the low 100s. Haven't had any like bigger hit in their boxes. Well, the one that had one pop was a nice hit though. So here we go, round three, Pop King Paul's box. He only has to beat one, 112 to win the series. He'll be up 3-0 with only two rounds left. He'll win. The, he'll be the first company to take the crown of the Grail box. They have Grail box right now. That they've won, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, I think eight series in total. They're 8-0 in competition. So they're undefeated. Is this the day? Are you seeing history right here? Are you watching history? Here we go. Pop King Paul, once again, 100 bucks. He has to beat 112. But there still will be a side competition with the best overall value at the very end. Pull back the bubble wrap. Got a hard stack in here. That is a good sign. And we have three installed protectors. Here we go. First one that is an installed protector. If I can get it out. The back says Despicable Me, Fluffy. Exclusive Universal Studios. I've never seen that sticker before. I have never seen that sticker. Universal Studios exclusive. Huh. That's a dusty protector. Looks like it's worth 23 bucks the day of packaging. I'm sure this thing's probably vaulted too, maybe. Pop number two, you ready? Oh, Beast Boy as Martian Manhunter Teen Titans Go exclusive. Toys USA exclusive worth 20 bucks right there. We're looking at $43. Of course, we'll we'll verify if PBG makes sure value hasn't changed too much on those. Pop number three. We got the masked manager from Squid Game, Netflix. Walmart exclusive coming at $15. Now we're looking at what? $43, $53. We're looking at $58. What's in that hard stack? Is that gonna be like a big hit or this kind of like a smaller hit? Wow, this is this is it. This is it. Are you ready? This this is this is it. Is the grail box finally getting beat in the competition? You ready? In three, two, one. Wow. Yep. Grail box got beat. That's a good one. That is the 2014 Buffy the Vampire Slayer SDCC exclusive. That is a heck of a hit right there. That is a very nice hit. 125. So if this held value, this one pop alone beat the entire grail box. Let's see PPG value. First pop, Mask Manager at Walmart exclusive. He is coming in at $16. Pop number two, Beast Boy as the Martian Manhunter Toys R Us exclusive coming in at 20 bucks. Pot number three, Universal Studios exclusive, coming in at $32. Last pop, Buffy the Vampire Slayer 2014 SDCC exclusive, coming in at $125 grand total, $193. Once again, Pop King Paul crushed the Grail box in round three. It wasn't even close. So Pop King Paul, officially the first company to beat the Grail box in a head-to-head -head competition ever. This is like what the ninth competition that Grail box has had, and Pop King Paul took him down. Right now, it is three 
Oh, it's three. Oh, there's still two rounds left. So the series isn't over yet. This competition not over. There's still two rounds left. So at the very end, we'll still do the side competition. We'll add up all five boxes of each company and see who has the better value at the very end. So at the very end, the grail box, one of the future boxes might have like a big hit in it where it actually is worth like three, four hundred bucks. And grail box actually wins the value competition. But no matter what though, Pop King Paul officially dethroned the grail box in terms of head to head competition of like three, four, five round series. He beat them. <laughs> so the grail box has their first defeat ever by Pop King Paul. So Pop King Paul is now the king of the mystery box competition series. Two rounds left. Side competition is now in effect. This competition is over. The side competition is in effect. Who has the better overall value at the end? And all these pops will be available in a future Whatnot Live auction. Make sure you go down below. There'll be a direct link to Whatnot and on QR code on the screen right now. Download the Whatnot app. It is the number one marketplace to buy and sell all of your collectibles. I auction live every weekend. I sell all my pops and comic books exclusively on Whatnot. And if you use my QR code or link down below, you'll even save 15 bucks in your first purchase on Whatnot. So if you get this pop for 15 bucks in your first auction, it's free. Not a bad deal, right? We all love free stuff. So I'll see you next time. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm